it's Dustin with TechMD coming at you with this little tiny thing called an iPad mini. So, um, it's a 10 year old, and when we plug it in, nothing really happens. Okay, well it's obviously turned off, but um, you could rotate it and move it over and I guess somehow they can get it charged a little bit. So it sounds like a bad charge port even though I don't really see any damage in the port itself, but we have some scuffs and possibly a little bit bend inward. So <clears throat> we are going to micro solder a new charge port. Now this is not for your at home customer or my typical clientele. This is gonna be probably for professionals who can solder um, and are not afraid to tackle this project. Highly recommend, um, <clears throat> you know, making sure you have all the tools or watching the video first before attempting this repair. So I like to put the, my heat mat at 70 degrees Celsius. I used to do 80 degrees Celsius, but um, for whatever reason, this particular heat mat that I have is, warms up much faster. So I did a, a, an iPad the other day and it ruffled the, the backlight. So you don't want too much heat or it's going to do that. But also we, we don't want to damage the, the screen as well. So I have a pretty simple, solution to that, I use an eye plastic tool on separating uh, so I can don't damage it. So we'll see if this works. Uh, this is my first iPad opening it up with this uh, that's not broken. So we'll see if we can open up the iPad with this. But first, you're going to need to actually have an entry point, which I recommend an iFlex tool for that. Also, we have a uh, um, I test them a tool and all this stuff is going to be linked in the description uh, for all these tools um, including the soldering iron. Um, the soldering iron is YIHUA948 number two. That's the one I'm using. Works really good um, and I've been using it for quite some time. So we're gonna let that warm up for about five minutes and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so now that it's warmed up enough, we're gonna put our gloves on here. And if you're an owner operator, this is a good time to su suggest when you take it in or, or give it back to them is um, to make sure you get a magnetic charger, which I sell them for $30. So it's something that just plugs in and you just stripe away. So it's a pretty easy sell for somebody who's already damaged their port and um, they're great cables. So I will link those cables in the description below as well uh, if you guys are interested. Um, anything that you guys do purchase from Ninja Gadgets or Amazon in the links is greatly appreciated. Um, this helps our channel grow immensely. So. Um, to be honest, I usually just convert my money right back into Amazon gift cards because we buy so much stuff through Amazon. And in fact, this heating pad I bought on Amazon and I absolutely love it. It's one of the best ones. It's really warm. It doesn't overheat things down below um, like the Andrew Gadgets one. So I'm hoping they'll swap and get something better. But this is it right here. So yeah, 70 degrees Celsius or, or around 160 roughly is what I have of that, I think. Yeah. So that's perfect heat. Let that warm up, which mine has now officially. And so I'm just gonna put some heat resistant gloves on. I also have some other ones linked as well. So let's just see if we can get entry point here. We don't want to get too far in or that screen will start to delaminate. So just get our iFlex tool in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and insert our iPlastic tool here. Now that you got it nice and warm. And if the adhesive is not removing, then increase the heat. But um, my other older pad didn't heat up as well. So I think this one is better. So like I said, highly recommend getting this newer one. Okay, so not too close. You want to get into that display. That was really close for me. Closer than I'd like.
So I'm just lifting up the iPad here and just cutting that adhesive. Take our tool here and we're just going to do a little bit more cutting. And be careful, I think there's a cable right here, so just being extra careful, I can't remember. I haven't worked on one of these in a long time. It's not a very popular. Yep, yeah, there's a cable up there cable right here, so just be really careful of these cables, guys. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the screen and just make sure your screen is fully disconnected. We're going to use, I like to use grip tools here and double zero and just set our screws off. I like to organize them as well. Make sure they go back in the same hole that I found them in. I'm not sure if I've done this repair or not for screen. I know I've done the mini four and below, but I don't know if I've done actually a five and opened it up. So I'm just gonna take a plastic tool and try to pop this bracket up here. Seems to be clipped on somehow. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yes, the battery is connected this way. It's so nice when batteries like that. We'll go ahead and disconnect our screen cables. So yeah, I'm going in this repair guys, totally blind, just like you, but you at least get to watch this video and see me either mess up or be successful. Um, but yeah, this is the iPad screen. You would just replace that and transfer the home button if you need a screen repair. But uh, this video is not about that. All right. Let's look at the connector itself. Let me go get it. Okay. So this is the iPad mini fourth and fifth generation um, charge port. They actually share it. All right, so yeah, it looks like it just goes like this right here. And we gotta solder this on. Looks fairly complicated. Unfortunately. So let's go ahead and start removing some screws here. You may have to lift up one of these speakers. I'm just gonna remove these two anyways. All right. Let's see if there's any obvious signs of removing this and so far I don't see any. Go ahead and lift up this antenna here. Let's get right underneath it with some tweezers and lift that up. I don't know what's under here. It's just a black coating or what? I'm gonna just make sure there's no screws under here though. I don't see anything. This feels pretty solid so it's probably not coming up. Get the same orientation upside down here. Put this screw way over here. Get 
couple screws over here in these corners. Let's see if we can lift this up now. Probably not. Looks like there's another screw right here. I don't know how much of this has to come up. I hope not the whole darn thing. That'd suck. Certainly looking that way though. that's holding this in all right guys that's it for the day i actually have to take off and i'm in a new shirt so i'm finishing this part one at the end of part two it's kind of fun but anyways end of part one we have tore down the ipad and got it all the way down to as far as possible um, with removing the motherboard and all that stuff or excuse me, we've got it down to where we've removed some screws and taken off the screen and whatnot. But part two is going to be carefully removing the motherboard and some more screws and desoldering that charge port, resoldering the charge port and testing it. Part three will be all about putting this iPad together. So if you just needed to see how you do screen repair, you can easily catch part one, this one, and then part three to put it back together. You can skip part two if you don't need to do a battery replacement or um, any of these other components replacements in here. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. More coming in the future. Thank you.